Another kind of link you may have seen on the internet makes it possible for you to jump from one place on a page to another place on the same page. You can also use this trick to link from one page to a specific place on another page. But I'm just going to create links from the top part of this page to a lower part to show you how it works. So first I'm going to scroll back up to the top of this page. You'll notice that in my opening paragraph I mentioned Shutterfly and Flickr, which I have descriptions for down below. So I'm going to make it possible for people to link immediately from here down to that lower explanation. So let me scroll back down. The tricky thing about jump links is that before you can set a link to a lower place on a page, you first have to put an anchor there so that the browser knows where to go on the page. So I put my cursor where I want my anchor, and then I go up here to, look, it's an anchor. I'm going to click on the anchor, and now I'm going to give this a name. Again, it really doesn't matter what you name it, but it's another one of those places where you shouldn't use spaces or special characters. I'm going to flicker, because that'll make it easy for me to remember what it is. Click OK. This is one of those little things that Dreamweaver puts in there to let you know there's something on the page that's not going to be visible. So that funky little yellow anchor will not appear when you look at this page in a browser, but it's there so that you know where the anchor is and that it was set correctly. You can turn that off in preferences if you don't like it, but I kind of like the anchor ones to show because that way I can see where my anchors are. I'm going to set a second anchor here for Shutterfly so that we can create a couple of links. Click OK. My anchor appears automatically. Now I go up to the top of the page to where I've got the words Shutterfly and Flickr, and I want to link this to that anchor down below. This is another time where I find this link option up here more useful, and I'll show you why. When I click here and I come into Link, look at that. My little anchors appear right here. So all I have to do is click the link. I highlighted Shutterfly, so I'm going to click the Shutterfly anchor click OK, and this will now link to that place lower on the page. I can highlight Flickr and type pound Flickr down here. Make sure you put the pound sign if you're going to type that in manually. But again, I find it easier to just click link, and because they save your anchors in this dialog, I like to use this dialog to set those. So those two are now linked to lower on the page. So the final thing we're going to do is preview this page in a browser and test all those links and make sure they really work the way they're supposed to. So again, the best thing to do is always to save your work first. If you don't, Dreamweaver will prompt you and make sure that you've saved the page. So this time I'm going to preview in Firefox just to see how the page looks in a different browser. Always good to test your work in multiple browsers. And I'm going to expand this just to fill the screen so that I can see what I'm doing here. Now I set a few links on this page, so let's see what happens. I set a link to Shutterfly. Ooh, look, it jumps right back down to Shutterfly. Let me see if that link to Flickr works. Click on Flickr, and it brings me right to Flickr.